this opportunity to launch a biometric voter verification system newly introduced by the Electoral Commission. Congratulations. And a These are the biometric machines that are going to be used in the 18th February poll. The biometric system uses human body characteristics to confirm a person's identity. Over 32,000 in number, the gadgets have been imported by the Electoral Commission to counter voter rigging ahead of the 18th poll. The gadgets take voters' thumbprints for verification purposes and also locate where one is supposed to vote from, as explained by the Electoral Boss. Engineer Badri Chigundu. This uh, system, you'll, you'll use one with the four fingers. The first finger, the thumb, on either side of the, of the arm. And uh, any one of the fingers should be able to uplift your particulars for that particular polling station. And if you are not polling from that polling station, you'll be informed at what polling station you should go to in that district because that machine has the capacity to store all registered voters, all polling stations in the whole district. Chegundu says the deployment of the biometric verification mechanism at all polling stations across the country will significantly boost the credibility of the presidential, legislative and local elections. It is real and it will save us a lot of agonies that we've been suffering in the past elections. This time around there's no uh, double voting because you'll be caught up with. So please come straight. Usually Ugandans are straight, but of course sometimes uh, things go haywire. The machines have got an operation span of 18 hours with a computerized timing which will see it functioning from 8 a.m. when voting officially starts and will automatically close down at 5 p.m. when polling closes. The gadgets have been launched this morning by the Speaker of Parliament, Rebecca Kadaga, who has asked the electoral body to ensure that persons with disabilities are helped to exercise their right to vote on top of enough security on these gadgets. I'm not sure how the PWDs are going to vote, those who don't have hands, the lepers whose fingers are not there. I think we need to hear how they will be supported to exercise their constitutional role. Since the Commission's announcement of importing the gadgets, the civil society and the opposition groups have urged the Electoral Commission to ensure their backup machines in case their malfunctions, as it happened in some African countries during polling. This week, the Commission is expected to meet with the representatives of the country's eight presidential candidates, political parties and stakeholders to explain its decision to use the biometric system and also to train them on how to use it. Many of the ballot papers to be used for the elections are being printed both locally and internationally. The Commission says companies in Uganda, South Africa, United Arab Emirates and the United Kingdom are in advanced stages of printing the sensitive documents to be used at the polls. Jusnina Chibule, WBS-TV in Kampala.